Every tribe, every tongue, the call to prayer echoes throughout the nations. May 23rd is the 10th annual Global Day of Prayer. This is Linda Ferrante's third year as director and Pastor Alvin Coe is a member of the GDOP Toronto team. Pentecost Sunday is approaching. It is. It Has is. it ever been more exciting than this year? Do you know there's, there's a sense that now is the time to pray. I'm hearing that wherever I go, that there's this sense of urgency because of what we're seeing in the world, yes. the challenges and the, and the eruptions and the difficulties economically and in the natural, mm -hmm. but it's time to pray. And, and that sense is going out and the Holy Spirit is brooding over the city and brooding over the countries of the world and calling people to pray. Pastor Alvin, I asked you why you're excited about the event this year. Well, I, I think it's so good to see churches coming together and uh, this year especially to see the larger churches coming, getting involved, every church doing different things and uh, just laying down on ministries and just to glorify God in the city. And one of the exciting things that we're seeing too is uh, the ethnic church is really rising up. We have nine language sites uh, as, as we speak, a uh, total of 16 sites uh, in, in Toronto itself. Yeah. This is right across the country, That's right. right across the nation. That's right. And I just, I, I'm moved every time I see the promo and maybe you haven't seen it. So we're gonna just ignite your heart right now as you get a, a flavor of what this is about. Watch. Look, the signs are everywhere. The confusion and chaos are calling from every corner. And while we try to make sense of our world, there is a rumbling in the distance, an ever-growing and urgent cry that is coming from every corner of the globe. These are the cries of God's children, men and women, young and old, gathering to repent and confess their sins. God hears the calls of His people and says, Even now return to me with all your heart, with fasting and mourning, and discover the joy of reconciliation with God. We are in the 10 days of prayer that is always the lead up to May, May 23rd this year to Pentecost Sunday. And uh, always a theme of restoration and repentance. Yes. Repentance and restoration. We yes. better get the order right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Lord's Prayer is the theme. Uh, interesting uh, today, provide and forgive are the, the bullet points if you're, if you're doing this. You can go on the internet yes, and can. track with this. You don't have yes. to have the booklet. Right. This year, uh, a special focus mm -hmm. for Toronto yes. uh, effort. Tell us what that's about, Linda. Yes. Three Every, things in particular. Three, the, the three things that the Lord laid on our hearts this year was for the next generation, because we're passing the baton to them. They're going to go further than us. They're going to, they have the energy to go, to, to do the things that God is calling. They walk with a, um, a sense of holiness. And, and, and we are partnering with them, we come alongside them, but we, we believe in, in, in praying for the next generation. We have a heart to pray for the government. We have the G20 coming to Toronto at the end of June, June 26, 27, 28. Very timely um, focus. And, and, and second, uh, Timothy commands us to pray for those in leadership. And the third one is for the nations, but particularly this year because we really feel a sense to support what Kenny Blacksmith is doing. This with the, with the is journey the of journey freedom. of freedom. Mm -hmm which in a sense, uh, it is essentially first people's response right. to the government's apology right. for abuses in the residential yes. schools. Yeah. Yeah. Very important yeah. in breaking the things that are preventing God's blessing on this nation. Yes, yes. That's wonderful. And it's very key, it's very key. And, and God has, you know, He has kept His hand on Canada. And I believe it's because of the concentrated, consecrated prayers of Christians from sea to sea, right across this country. Mm -hmm. Now, I said people don't have to have the booklet to participate. You want people to register uh, that they're going to come to one of the venues where prayer will be uh, conducted, mm -hmm. but they can just show up. They can just show up, just show up. Clean hands, pure heart, you can come into the holy mountain of God, Psalm mm -hmm. 24. I wanna bring up a page that uh, will give the website um, th there is a specific Toronto one, but we've yes. got people watching right across the country. Actually, we might have people watching around the globe. So, uh, globaldayofprayer.com, what are they going to find there? 
Well, when, when they come on, they will see an area and it says click here. And if they click that icon, they will go into all the maps of the world. And the map will, will show a highlight North America. And if they click that, it will take them to Canada and it will show them all the sites that are across Canada. This is so exciting. Yeah, is. What was the question Jim asked me that I couldn't answer? Was it how many participate? Do you have? I mean, you have people registered, a lot still. There's 216 countries. The last count that I received was 216 countries. So you can imagine the numbers and of, of people that, that are praying. And, there, and I'm sure there will be many that are in their closets and in their homes and in their hospital beds. Just participating just, where just, they just are. Just participating where they are and just praying. Just, just calling on God to heal our land. Second Chronicles 7.14. Pastor Alvin, your church, I'm sure, is a site, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a Filipino site. We closed our service just to have the Filipino site. Last year they had Filipino about, site. Yeah, 800 uh, Filipinos gathered in church, yeah. Yeah, you're church. Malaysian. I'm Malaysian, <laughs> but we are for the nations. Let me ask one more question. It's probably very difficult to answer. Uh, maybe only heaven could uh, give us the download on this, but this happens every year. You know, I always wonder if there's going to be kind of a spiritual climate change you can feel in the air on, mm. on Pentecost Sunday. Mm. Have you been able to chronicle, to record specific results of the outcome of Good question. this day? Um, we haven't been able to chronicle, to, to um, capsulize it globally, and the only thing we can do in the city is to watch for the change. Mm. I believe that the level of prayer is increasing. For me, that's significant. I believe that the, the cooperation and the unity that is coming with the churches in the city, that is another indicator for me. But we're looking for other ones, yes. Well, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, God is good to His Word. He mm -hmm. cannot lie. Amen. And He's promised to answer prayer. That's right. And can you say the foundational verse of all of this? Mm. Second Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, the promise of that word is that he will hear from heaven. He will forgive us of our sins and heal our land. And verse 15 says, now I have been a tent. I've heard the prayers that have been prayed in this place. Mm -hmm. Amazing. This is very encouraging yeah. Yeah, for amazing. spring 2010. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for Thank what you you're so doing. Thank you. Uh, carry on and let's commit. Uh, even if you can't make one of the venues, and again, check the website uh, for one near you, wherever you are. Uh, let's be praying. Pentecost Sunday, May 23rd.